This is a disaster, Pumper. A disaster, I tell you. You mean because they finally found each other like two soulmates joined across the years by the bonds of true love? Sweet, innocent little Pumper. She's gonna put a stake right through the heart of our Hakuna Matata. Pumper, we can't let them feel the love tonight. Ah! <laughs> You're joking the self-awareness. Oh my god, this movie's good. The Lion King one and a half is actually one of the best movies Disney has ever released. I know there's gonna be a lot of people angry at this one, but I a hundred percent believe my criticisms right here. I I think this movie is very, very good. Coming out in 2004, it feels like this movie's really trying to fix the problem they had with the second movie, which came out in 1998. And it seems like their animation budget went back up. They are actually <laughs> making good animation and good writing. And I gotta say, throughout this whole movie, it's very self-aware, very for fourth wall breaking, and it's... It's it's amazing, oh my god. I could be very much wrong, but I feel like this is the only fourth wall breaking movie of this stature. And usually fourth wall breaks are very cringy, they're not very good. But um, the way they do this movie, I have to applaud it because the flow, the fluidity, the like self-awareness, its it doesn't feel cringy at all, and it doesn't really interrupt the flow of the movie overall. It feels like it adds texture, it adds a lot of flavor to a lot of the scenes in the movie. This movie is genuinely one of a kind, and I feel like there's no other movie that can replicate this, at least to this degree, it's absolutely perfection, almost. Like, the characters in this movie, really, the focus of the characters really Really bring the four fall breaking to life and make it so natural and that's super crazy to me that it came out 20 years ago and it set a standard that almost nobody has been able to reach I see a lot of four fall breaks and they are just cringy the writing is just horrible to where it doesn't really work and I don't know just everything works in this movie that was 20 years into the past. Before I go more into the writing of this movie and the story, I'd like to talk about the animation. And the animation actually is animation now. It very much seems like they course corrected from the direct-to-DVD movie, which was The Lion King 2, Simba's Pride, and I can be nothing but thankful. Not to say all the animation in The Lion King 2 was necessarily bad, it was just that it dipped a lot, and the sort of like color palettes they were going for, it was very much different and abstract from the original Lion King but here they go back to the um, original Lion King all the animation feels uh, pristine there are some scenes to where like the animation quality dips a little bit and you can sort of tell but it's not as bad as the Lion King 2 and I think it's absolutely acceptable to be honest since we're retreading the Lion King we're going back to the vibrant colors that it had that very distinct very popping sort of uh, color palettes they had and the color uses they were using it's it's very nice very refreshing and I gotta say if it works it works if it's broken <laughs> no, I was gonna say if it's broken, don't fix it. But um, if it's not broke, don't fix. Excuse me, I almost sounded stupid as hell. There's a lot more creative shots than the original, and there's actually just a lot more animation. There's tiny parts of animation to where they really go all out and um actually just express their talent. I am so happy for this movie that the animation bu budget went up. As for the music, you're gonna get a lot of the same soundtrack, just a little bit altered from the Lion King because this is a prequel and it's following in the footsteps of the original Lion King, but you're also gonna get some new flavors of music that are very welcomed and just earworms like almost more earworms or like matchable earworms to the original lion king like i just can't wait to be king like the dig a tunnel part oh my god it's been stuck in my head for years and i definitely understand why re-watching this dig a tunnel dig, dig a tunnel when you're done you dig a bigger tunnel kuna matata what a wonderful phrase. Yeah, you're getting that quality music you deserve from a Disney movie. Now, as for the story and the writing, I gotta say this movie is just super digestible. Like, you're gonna have no complaints here. This movie is three things which I have never seen done before. It is a prequel, it is a continuation, and also it is a new 
product. That is insane to me. It's a prequel in the sense it showcases Timon and Pumbaa's journey in order to find each other and become best friends or gay lovers, low key. <laughs> Oh my god, they're so gay. It's a continuation in the sense that it actually trails along the Lion King. It's giving you more information that you didn't get to see from the original Lion King while also keeping the original Lion King story. I think it's beautiful. And finally, it's a new product because we are getting new scenes, new dialogue, new lore, and new like explanations for things. Like we are getting so much new that it's it's absolutely a great standalone in and of itself. You don't necessarily need to have watched The Lion King 1 in order to enjoy this movie, but if you have watched The Lion King 1, it's just gonna add more enjoyment to this movie and some of the jokes, you're actually gonna like get it immediately and they're gonna land so hard. Which goes on into another point I wanna make about this movie. The jokes in this movie, this movie is almost all comedy and all like self-awareness. And I gotta say the jokes in this movie land so fucking hard. Whoever was writing this movie actually knew what they were doing when they were writing these jokes. These jokes land so very hard. Like, I gotta say, the way they are building up their jokes, it's very old school, it's very natural, it's very like, less kid oriented like they're not just rapid firing jokes in any sense they are actually doing small little conjunctions of jokes to lead into a big joke and some of them are very subtle some of these jokes are very subtle and this is the way you write comedy you don't do it in this very like flashy in your face sort of like constant rapid fire like one of these jokes have to land no the way they write it it's it's like an actual comedy that is probably A tier. Oh my god, good comedic pacing in my Disney movie? Impossible. There's a decent amount of fart jokes in this movie, but I feel like each and every one of them hit the landing like that's almost impossible to say for a fart joke to give an example there's a scene to where timon and pumbaa are trying to get through a huge crowd of people and pumbaa's fat ass doesn't do well in crowds i wouldn't say fat i shouldn't call, i shouldn't call pumbaa fat you know he, he's pregnant and if he's pregnant i guess that gives him the right to bear arms not too many people are gonna understand that joke, never mind. <laughs> but as he's going through this crowd and he's gaining a lot of anxiety, he feels like he needs to fart. <laughs> I hate saying that word, but yeah, he feels like he needs to fart. And Timon is just like, he's not really illustrating it well enough because he doesn't want Timon, Timon to know. They are like very, uh, they, uh, Timon calls them acquaintances when they're, they're kind of friends, but obviously, you know, Timon's the way he is. But yeah, um, uh, Pumbaa is just like not trying to lose a friend or uh, like an ally. And so he's just like, well, I, I need to go around. I need to, like, not deal with this crowd at all. And Timon is, like, trying to pull him back, be like, no, it's fine. And he's making jokes throughout at Puma's expense. He's making very, quote, unquote, subtle jokes about farting. And I find it very funny. <clears throat> Timon, there's something I got to tell you. Pumba, pumba, pumba. We'll have plenty of time to chat once we settle in. Uh, I could really use a rest stop! Don't worry, you'll get your second win. Oh, I got a really bad feeling! It'll pass! Trust me, it'll pass! Oh, look! The wires are bowing! Ooh, we better bow, too. For the royal son. Low-key, Puma kind of got a body count. He's taking a lot of lives. <laughs> it's, it's so genuinely good. I can't lie. This movie did something to me I thought I could never do. Laugh at a fart joke. The problem with a lot of jokes nowadays is that they rely on this sort of ha uh, pee pee poo poo kind of humor. And it's, it's not good comedy. Jokes nowadays are full of this random beret of like Hershey squirts trying to gas up and push this sort of shitty joke. And when you finally get a whiff of all this mess that's going on, 
you realize it's all toilet humor. Yes, I'm proud of that joke. But yeah, the jokes are absolutely amazing. And I gotta say, the biggest compliment I have to give to this movie is that it feels like I'm watching the same movie I fell in love with from somebody else's perspective. And I know how weird that sounds, but like it feels like I'm almost watching it for the first time again. Now, there are some flaws in the continuity of The Lion King they're trying to like continue, but... At the end of the day, I don't think it's too big of an issue. Unless you really want to look deep into it, I think it's absolutely fine. They're making these uh, continu continuity issues for the sake of the joke. And honestly, I think the jokes are uh, far outweigh this issue. So I'm not calling it a big issue. Also, the gayness of this movie, I know they called them best friends, but they're a little gay. Let's be a little real. The gayness between Timon and Pumbaa is absolutely a treat. I love it throughout, and I gotta say, this movie, it's so goddamn good. I am gonna do something controversial, and I am going to give this movie a 10. I don't give 10s out randomly. I am very picky with what I give a 10 to, and I gotta say, this movie is everything I wanted and more. And it's just funny, it's a fun time, it's super, super casual, lighthearted. There's a fourth wall break that I actually enjoy for the first time. Like, the animation keeps up, the music is absolutely phenomenal, the writing is phenomenal. I, I'm very solidified in my choice right here. This movie does have small flaws depending on who you are, I guess with the pacing sometimes. But I gotta say, this movie is enjoyable for everyone, I feel. It's extremely distinct, extremely recognizable, and it sets a high standard for animation. Ah, that's all I gotta say, man. Anyway, how's it going, pups? It's a canine, and I'm out. Show up and tell me how Look! My life. You don't even know what I've been through. I would if you just tell me. Forget it. Fine! Pumba, do you know what this means? Uh, he can't express his feelings and she has commitment issues? Pumbaa is the most healthiest gay man I've ever seen.